believe we have to move. This totally blows. All right, Amber, enough. Shut up! Well, Max told me to shut Max, up! don't say shut up. Guys, come on, give your mother a break. You shut up. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm the bad guy, right? Well, you're all going to be thanking me once we get there. This place has a golf course. God, please. You got to help me out here, okay? Make this move go smooth. I don't want any holes in my roof, no termites. Oh, please, make the neighbors normal. It is very much social commentary. It's very much about a neighborhood and neighbors and what, what that is like. It's also, you know, Dan Fogelman chose a different galaxy, but they could be from another country coming to America. What are Americans like? What do we consume? How are we as neighbors? Where do we live? What do we do? And I think that that's really what it's about. It's the American condition and how we're living our lives and a funny look at that through these kind of wacky neighbors. It's harder for you to eat us. Sorry. Us eat you? You're the ones who enjoy finger foods and order kids' meals. What are kids' meals? Are they made from kids? Well, I guess I never thought how weird this must be for you guys. Oh, God. You're not answering the kids' no. meals. And my father, God love him, has saved everything that I have ever written, done, every report card. And I got back from this camp I went to called Belvoir Terrace, which was a performing arts camp, the, the yearbook for that summer, the summer end book. And under my name, it said funniest. And I was 12 years old at the time. So apparently back then I was funny as well, although I was probably not aware. So I do think that shyness or humor or there are different traits that maybe you have, that that's the kind of person you are, that's what you're born with. I think I always looked at the world with kind of a wink and a, and a grin, and that's, that's me.